Number two, what are the three ways in which a force can change the velocity of an object? So we're talking about changing its motion in general, okay? We're still um, thinking about our definition of force that we went over in number one. Changing an object's motion, what does that mean? Well, we have three options here. One, we can start the motion. We can start it. We can actually go from rest, again, apply a force, and then the object will start moving. We can also stop motion, okay? We can take something that is moving, and then we can cause its velocity to decrease or go to zero completely. All right, so we have uh, two basic ideas. We can either accelerate or we can decelerate. But number three, one that's uh, often overlooked is changing direction. Okay, changing direction also requires force because remember, velocity is a vector quantity. So that means that it has both magnitude and direction. So if you change motion, right, change motion, we'll call that acceleration, um, you know, as, as a general definition. If you're causing a change in motion, you're either going to be changing the magnitude of the velocity or the direction of the velocity. Okay, those are the two ways that you can change a velocity, uh, magnitude or direction. And so <clears throat> what we see here for my example number uh, one and number two here, that's basically the magnitude. Okay, uh, number one, start motion is going, the magnitude is going up. Number two, stop motion, magnitude is going down. Number three, we're talking about changing the direction because that's the other part of a vector quantity.